Italy, birthplace of a tradition of excellence. That tradition continues in the ultimate sports car, Lamborghini Diablo. Where does the legend end and the reality begin? Now, find out firsthand. In a moment, we'll start on an unforgettable journey inside the world of the fastest production supercar. Italian traditions of style, beauty, art, and romance have given the world a unique heritage. From the Renaissance forward, the wealthy elite of Italy inspired grandmasters to transform the ordinary and commonplace into brilliance and fantasy. The legacy they've left behind still lingers. Italian names such as Michelangelo, Da Vinci, Raphael, Rossini, Verdi, and Caruso have become synonymous with excellence, proving that what is second to none deserves to be priceless. Today, that tradition continues under another Italian name, Lamborghini. A Lamborghini is not just a car, it is a handmade supercar, combining luxury and comfort with stellar performance in both power and speed. Since the fall of 1990, the reigning champion of the supercar elite, Diablo, has been produced in this small town in northern Italy. Credo che la Lamborghini continui la sua tradizione. The Lamborghini continues its tradition of constructing automobiles in the grand touring style. In 1987, the Chrysler Corporation acquired Automobili Lamborghini. Former Chrysler Chairman Lee Iacocca shares his comments about the company from a relaxed setting amid the foothills of northern Italy. Well, if you've been to the Lamborghini factory, I mean, that's, that's almost everything's done by hand. I mean, everything's laid up by hand. The engines, the transmissions, boxes they build there, the bodies in total, the interiors, it's all custom work. It's a hand-built car. Why it's so expensive? Well, they use a... Uh, a lot of outside design houses, and in this particular case, uh, we had the input of the uh, Chrysler stylus and Mr. Gandini from uh, from Italy. And the final design of the Diablo was a collaborative effort, but uh, the interior was done by the U.S. studios, and Gandini did most of the outside work. It's a great style, by the way. It's a great car, in fact. Lamborghini's last success story was a tough act to follow. So the House of the Bull again enlisted the genius of master designer Marcello Gandini, Kuntox creator, to produce Diablo's searing form. True to Italian grandmaster tradition, fine tuning of the design is left to staff engineers and detailers who still prepare drawings by hand. Again, former chairman Iacocca, well, aside from the prestige of the name of Lamborghini itself, the biggest advantage is the work we do with our engine group. They're Formula One race builders, and they're experienced in building V10 and V12 engines, mostly out of aluminum, of course, and that's the very engine we're going to be doing in the Viper, the U.S. car, so there are a lot of benefits uh, between our engine people and their engine people. That's primarily the biggest uh, reason for being associated with them. Diablo's aluminum engine parts are manufactured on computerized automatic milling machinery with tolerances of up to 15 thousandths of a millimeter. Steel engine parts such as crankshaft and connecting rods are forged and then machined to final tolerances. Although the bulk of the engine is fabricated from aluminum, cylinders have pressed in steel liners with Nicosil faces. 
Diablo's power source is its V12 48 valve double overhead cam 5.7 liter engine. It can deliver a peak output of 492 horsepower at 7,000 RPM, creating 428 foot pounds of torque, the most power of any production car. Little wonder Diablo is the first production car to break the 200 mile per hour speed barrier. It's the fastest in the world at 204 miles per hour. This mega power comes directly from Diablo's 12 monster cylinders. No turbos or air pumps here. Power with no lag. Every single engine produced is checked and tested by hand. Then it's broken in by a technician assigned to put this beast through its paces. By the time it's bolted into a Diablo, it will be ready to roll at peak performance before it ever leaves the plant. Lamborghini engineers created a technology innovation in the LIE, an integrated sequential multi-point electronic fuel injection system. Its circuitry controls the power generated in each bank of the V12. Coupled with dual catalytic converters, exhaust gases meet or exceed emission standards worldwide. Not just yet. They've always been high fashion houses, and I mean, it goes back to the days of Pina and Farina and, and the Ferraris, and, and they were one off prototype builders at first and then did small volume. But there's no question, there's an Italian school of design that's pretty racy. Uh, it's had its effect in many ways on other styling people throughout the world. But the, uh, there's Ferrari and Lamborghini, and to a lesser degree today, Maserati, that's about it. And they've got some great styling studios. They still have the Ghia studio that Ford owns that we bought once at Ford, but uh, they're, they're usually at the leading edge of things, a little way out at times, in fact. They're, they're super at, at the chassis. Their the chassis are, you know, different type of chassis. But when it comes to handling and braking, you got to have it to go with that engine, you know. If you're going to go from zero to 60 in four seconds, you better have brakes that take you down from 60 to zero in, in less time than maybe four seconds. So you develop, uh, but there, it's exotic stuff, and it's, uh, you know, a Lamborghini today probably sells for $240,000, $250,000. So they can apply a lot of uh, custom work in the chassis and body areas to the car. And you, you, get, you don't get something directly, but over time you do by having your engineers working together. Luigi Marmaroli and his technical staff deserve the kudos for bringing the Diablo from sketchboard to ultimate reality. A welded steel square tube frame provides the skeleton beneath the ultra-efficient air-slicing silhouette. This accounts for Diablo's remarkable drag coefficient of only 0.3. However, speed cannot be achieved at the cost of safety. With this in mind, technicians incorporate a structural roof of stamped steel. Doors and fenders are sheathed in stamped aluminum. Front and rear bumpers, rocker panels, trunk lid, and engine hood, 50% of the body, are all fabricated on site from a specially developed carbon and glass fiber composite. Lamborghini's passion for excellence is reflected in its zero defect philosophy. Quality committees address the activity at every stage of production, soliciting personnel input for problem solving and job refinement. In the Italian Grandmaster tradition, 30 young technician trainees at a time are inducted into the Lamborghini family of craftsmen in a 300 hour course.
The world's greatest sports car, Coupe of the Glitterati, must be perfect. Handmade by the finest artisans. It still is. Only a handful will ever harness this beast. But in a moment, you'll share the experience inside a Diablo. Lamborghini has many rivals, but no equals in the world of supercar production. I can't. I mean, there's no comparison. There is, there is no such house as Lamborghini in, in, uh, in Japan. A couple of the companies have done exotic one-off cars at small volume. The Honda sports car, whatever it's called today, that came with much fanfare, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good car. I don't think they've done too well with it. But it's an entirely different world. I mean, those cars run in the 50 to 100,000 range, and these start at 250, so they're different. They're completely different vehicles. It would be difficult to compare them. Unique among automobile factories worldwide is the composite fabrication department installed by the House of the Bull. The only one of its kind anywhere, it creates materials quite similar to those used by the aircraft industry. Noted for their strength to mass ratio, these carbon, Kevlar, and glass fiber composites are especially suited to supercar shell construction due to their light weight and impact resistance. Skilled operators assemble molds of each particular part in a special climate-controlled bedding department. These molds are then transferred into a 32 cubic meter automatic pressurized autoclave, which can bake the individual parts for two complete Diablos at a time. Front and rear bumpers made of this composite material have enabled Diablo to pass the strict U.S. standards for impact at low speeds. In fact, Diablo was able to meet all of the U.S. Department of Transportation safety requirements for passenger cars in only 72 hours. Lamborghini lives up to its motto, namely, to be the best. Italy's grandmasters created each of their masterpieces with a patient hand. Every brush stroke they applied created a hue that arrested the eye and stirred the soul. Carrying this tradition forward, modern Italian artisans meticulously prime and paint each Diablo body. Only the human hand is considered suitable enough to create the roadworthy fresco that will carry the Lamborghini insignia. Only a few have ever owned the Mona Lisa, but her beauty is admired by every eye that's graced by her mystic smile. The same can be said for a Diablo. It is a traveling exhibit of artistry, each one a handmade original, to be enjoyed by all who stare in admiration and envy. Anyone fortunate enough to own a Lamborghini can enjoy the pinnacle of supercar stardom, both power and speed, without the sacrifice of luxury and creature comforts. Chrysler's Bill Dayton is credited for developing the auto's interior, working along with researchers at the University of Bologna to harmonize the cockpit proportions with dimensions of the human form. The driver's seat, steering wheel, and another first, the main instrument panel are each adjustable, permitting Diablo to be tailor-fitted to its owner. Carefully crafted and stitched by hand, the finest leathers are used to transport the proud pilot in Elysian delight. Lamborghini designers believe the only way to go is in Italian style. Very few of us mortals will ever experience firsthand the heart-pounding rush of commanding this much power with the grasp of a steering wheel. The exhilaration of hurtling cross-country at first 175, 
then 185, and finally over 200 miles per hour is the feeling sustained inside the Diablo blasting by in fifth gear. Such a feeling can be prolonged in the Diablo, provided you can find 130 or so miles of deserted roadway and have the nerves and driving skills to match. Diablo is designed for safety as well as speed. Anti-roll bars in both front and rear add stability to an intense four-wheel independent racing type suspension system. Each side of the Diablo has unequal length control arms with one coil spring over a shock absorber in the front and two of the same in the rear to deliver razor sharp handling. Huge ventilated disc brakes are supplied to slow this charging beast should any creature dare to stray into its path. The interior is rounded out with automatic climate control and an Alpine stereo system. And for those who don't care to arrive fashionably late, a Swiss Broguet clock is an available option for only $12,000. Diablo's five-speed plus reverse manual transmission is very flexible. You can downshift to second gear cruising at 85 miles per hour should the need arise, or slice along a deserted stretch of roadway at 175 in fifth gear and find Diablo still has power to spare. An optional automatic clutch system is planned for the Diablo VT, the all-wheel drive version. Diablo's monster paws are shooed in 17-inch Pirelli P0s, the largest available. This rubber kisses the pavement goodbye. Technicians strap in the heart of this untamed creature, which will later launch Diablo from 0 to 60 in only 4 seconds. The uniquely original Kuntok door mechanism proved to be such a matchless success that it's been incorporated into the latest breathtaking Lamborghini legend. A computer-controlled roller bench ensures that no Diablo leaves the line before meeting strict emission control standards for universal export. Like any work of art, each handcrafted Lamborghini must be reviewed with a critical eye. To become a masterpiece demands perfection. Any flaws spotted must be removed, replaced, or refined before the mark of the bull can be affixed. It is this commitment to the utmost in quality that has given rise to the zero defect philosophy. More than just a slogan or even a creed, it is the objective toward which the Lamborghini designers, engineers, craftsmen, and technicians individually and collectively strive. Finally, the paramount pleasure experience, one you've been waiting for. For a quarter of a million dollars or so, you can throw this program away and strap on a Diablo yourself. But if you are a bit more conservative, then sit back and enjoy the ride, because now, at last, you share the experience. Once again, the Italians have created a masterpiece. This time signed, Lamborghini. And a new generation of artisans and craftsmen learn the meaning of perfection. Their talents will carry this legend into the 21st century. Their commitment to quality and the zero defect philosophy will transport the world's richest and most beautiful people at speeds that were unimaginable only a few years ago. 
committed to power, speed, and style, Lamborghini's engineers have also designed for the utmost in safety. The House of the Bull, backed by the American Chrysler Corporation, paws its way into the next century, leaving behind a trail of technical innovations and achievements unequaled by any competitor. Lamborghini sets the pace. Others are left to follow. First to break the 200 mile per hour speed barrier for a production car, designing winning teams Formula One cars and engines, or building championship marine racing engines, Lamborghini continues to stretch the envelope of what is thought possible. Carrying forward Italy's tradition for export of excellence, this auto house chooses to redefine it. As long as there are princes, stars, and moguls thirsty for power and hungry for speed that's served up with grace and style, there will be an Automobili Lamborghini, catering to their passion for excess. The rest of us can only hope to savor its fleeting scent on a roadway, in a dream, or even a piazza. The aroma of perfection, a Lamborghini Diablo.